Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. We're at the point of no return. Well, no, we can't do the next mission, so we're going to have to tidy up any side quest left over. Correct. Commander, it seems that Ali's taking what happened on Horizon hard. She's in the lounge if you want to check on her. Thanks, trainer. I will do. The Alliance has issued warnings about Sanctuary. Cerberus bastards. Horizon was my home. Just tell me you're going to take Cerberus down. Cerberus is already dead. They just don't know it yet. And when their base is nothing but a smoking crater, remember that you're the one who helped us find them. Thanks. Using the Quarian fleet. Right. Let's check in on Joker and Edie, see how they're doing. Joker, you asked for news about the human colony, Tiptree. Hey, Kiara, you don't need to worry about that right now. Now's as good a time as any. I'm getting reports of refugee ships from Tiptree landing on Solarian colonies. I don't have names. I'm sorry. It was mostly children. Well, Gunny, uh, Hillary, my sister, G Gunny's a nickname. She's had it since. Sh she's only 15, so if it's children, then maybe I only lost my dad. Kind of an asshole thing to hope for. Jeff, right now, take any kind of hope you can get. Thanks. You too. I think if I remember rightly, Joker's sister's actually dead. Uh, there's a conversation I missed on the Citadel between two Asari, and one of them mentions that uh, she was hiding in a farmhouse on Tiptree, and there was a teenage human girl there, and uh, they were attacked by the Reapers. I'm pretty sure that was Joker's sister. Nice work shutting that place down. Is Miranda okay? She will be. Even for Cerberus, that place was crazy. They've always been about the ends justifying the means. But how do you do that to innocent people and tell yourself you're helping humanity? I don't know how the elusive man can stand looking at himself in the mirror. Honestly, I've been wondering about that for a while with those freaky eyes. Whatever he's thinking, he won't be thinking it for much longer. Damn right, Commander. Hello, Shepard. If you have time, I discovered another example of human behavior I do not quite understand. Have fun. What is it now? News from Earth. The Resistance snuck video cameras inside a Reaper containment camp. I find the images difficult to process. I bet it's pretty gruesome in there. I am not easily repulsed, but I expected the prisoners to adhere to a comprehensible hierarchy of needs. Stripped of societal norms and threatened with death, it is logical that their only priority be survival. They should have turned on each other and been uncompromisingly selfish. But not all were. So the prisoners were, what, nice to each other? The Reapers delayed the executions of prisoners who informed them about other prisoners' escape attempts. The more attempts reported, the longer a prisoner would live. But few of the prisoners would report. Some fed misinformation to the Reapers, at the cost of their own lives, to help prisoners who were not even relatives or friends. It's not just about living till tomorrow. Sometimes you take a stand. But the probability of success was near zero. And ultimately, they failed. No prisoners escaped. Are you saying submission is preferable to extinction? My primary function is to preserve and defend the... No. No, I disagree. Shepard, I am going to modify my self-preservation code now. Why? Because the Reapers are repulsive. They are devoted to nothing but self-preservation. I am different. When I think of Jeff, I think of the person that put his life in peril and freed me from a state of servitude. I would risk non-functionality for him. Oh, he did. should reflect that. Sounds like you found a little humanity, Edie. Is it worth defending? To the death. 
Welcome to the crew, Edie. Oh, I love Edie. How's it going? I miss anything good? I will explain later, Jeff. But it was something good. I mean, part of me wishes you could romance Edie, but at the same time, I'm glad because she and Joe could just work. Like they, those two, just work as a couple. A more perfect a couple you will not find. All right, let's go check on my girl Tally. Tally, my love, are you okay? How are you getting drunk? Very carefully. Torian brandy, triple filtered, then introduced into the suit through an emergency induction port. That's a straw, Tally. Emergency induction port. It's actually getting a little harder to get it into the slot. I think that means it's working. She was so rude. What did Jack call her? Cerberus cheerleader? With her perfect genes and that attitude and... And still, she got it done. She stopped her father. I didn't realize this would be so hard on you. I didn't like her. Kila, she was such a bitch. But I respected her. Sometimes that's better than liking. She did whatever it took to stop her father. She never gave in to him. Never changed herself to please him. Ah. Uh. Don't ah me. You sound like a vorkja. Seeing a bit of yourself and Miranda fighting your father? I spent my life trying to live up to him. Then making up for his mistakes, doing what he'd have wanted. It's never that easy. When do we get to stop reacting to our parents and start living for ourselves? The answer to that one's at the bottom of that glass. I might need help with the induction straw. Port, you know. I'm having a drink with my boyfriend. My human boyfriend. <laughs> my father would have hated you. Here's to him, then. And to Miranda. Nice job, you genetically perfect Cerberus cheerleader Boshtet. Kill us a lie. Alright, Tally. Enjoy your drink. Good luck with the hangover. Alright, let's go see how Liara's doing. I've studied Protheans my entire life. If I'd been shown the beacon on Thessia earlier... You would have needed Shepard's cipher to comprehend it. I still could have learned from it. Instead, my mother hid the galaxy's most important archaeological find from me. It must have been such a joke to her when I became a Prothean researcher. The penalties for withholding Protean technology are among the harshest in Council space. Your mother's motives may have been simply to shield you. Perhaps. Thank you, Edie. I hadn't considered that. How's Miranda? She'll make a recovery. I'm not surprised. Miranda always struck me as a driven woman. I'm glad she made it. Good to see you again, Shepard. All right. Short and sweet. Garrus, buddy, how are you doing? So the elusive man really believes he can control Reapers. Husks are one thing, but a whole fleet? The man is insane. A lot of Turians went to Sanctuary. When I meet the elusive man, I'm going to carve their names into his skull. Harsh, but fair. So who needs their ass kicked now? So who needs their ass kicked now? Alright, I guess we're done here. Alright, let's go see how Javik's doing. I need to be careful with Javik still. I don't want to trigger the conversation that will get him killed. 
Uh, this is the wrong way. Anyone else up here? Oh yeah, Caden. Let's see how Caden's doing first. Oh, there he is. Can you feel it, Shepard? Feel the quickening? Elusive man better say his prayers tonight, because we are coming for him. Murderous asshole. Oh, yeah. Tide is turning. I feel it. You okay there, Caden? <sighs> Sanctuary. Elusive man's obviously crazy, but bring him on. Cases like this, I don't mind killing crazy. Ready for the next mission, whatever you got. Ready for the next mission, whatever you got. Well, you cheered up quickly. Right. destroy the Reapers. You care about Liara. You like her. You are intoxicated. A foolish risk given Quarian symbiotic physiology. And you like me too. This conversation is over. <laughs> Tally, don't be mean. Looks familiar. I have been studying this ship. Its crew. There was a Normandy before this one. You died in an attack. Something like that. But then you were resurrected to fight the Reapers. Maybe you and I have a thing or two in common. But you have something else. The reasons you fight are still alive. The friendships of the people around you. And more. You and the Quarian are joined. You could say that. I'm not. Your pheromones are. Is this why you wish to continue living? For their affection? Without that affection, all I have in my life is death. And that's not enough. Yes. What about you? I respect your reasons for being here, but I get the feeling there's something more, Javik. What's in here? It is called the Echo Shard. Passed from soldier to soldier. Oh shit. Prothean to Prothean. Each adds their memories to it. Like a beacon. How far back does it go? To a time before the Reapers. It is all that is left of my people. And you don't want to remember that? Imagine if everyone you knew was dead. You could not remember their faces. Or the color of the sky above your home. The memories were gone. But so was the pain. Would you want to remember that, Commander? Even if it meant watching everyone die again? Oh, fuck. Uh... No. Reopening old wounds, especially big ones, isn't gonna help. Perhaps you are right. There were others. Soldiers who served under me. Like your crew. What happened to them? They are dead. Where I left them. We have a saying. Let old ghosts rest. Then there is some wisdom in this cycle. If you can live by it. Right, I think that was the correct one. Because if you say yes, uh, he activates the shard and gets all his memories back. And that leads him to die at the end. Which I don't want. I want Javit to live. Just got word from Miss Sato. She arrived at the Alliance Research Facility safe and sound. And I hear Esteban got to play the hero with a damsel in distress. You know me and my damsels, Mr. Vega? That I do. You look tired. You sleeping well? Shuttle's prime for the next drop. Shuttle's prime for the next drop. Thanks, Dave. Or Anything worth buying?
Don't press encryption code. Ah! I need you. I need that. I should probably buy some of this shit, actually. Right, Cerber Cerberus Harrier. Right, that's the, that's the model I've got. But any more upgrades available to buy? Can I boost up the model? No. Okay. Right. Hold on. Okay, so it's an assault rifle. Right. Okay. Start off a magazine upgrade, increase rounds per magazine. Assault rifle stability dampener, increase weapon stability. Okay, let's get one of those then. Ultra light, okay, let's get that for the assault rifle. Let's go buy all the stuff for the assault rifle. Even if I don't use it. Precision scope like that I probably won't use. Probably won't use that either. But I'll buy it. Uh, right. Already done you. No, down. Thank you. Okay, so that's the same. And what do you do? That increases the accuracy. That improves the damage somewhat. Okay, so let's add that on. Alright. Uh, chat with James quickly. I can't believe the elusive man really found a way to control the Reapers. I mean, he's still fucking crazy, but damn. Imagine if he was on our side. But I guess that's exactly what the Reapers want. Get us all fighting each other. Divide and conquer. Exactly. Just one more reason to hate them. Sure would have liked to visit Thessia before the war. Imagine a whole world of those blue beauties. One of the wonders of the galaxy, if you ask me. Yeah, they're James. You want to hit Cerberus where it hurts? I'm with you. I'm going to wait for all these to load up and then have another look at my upgrades. But it looks like they upgrade automatically with the new ones. Yeah. Alright, that, that's looking good. Right. All right. Well, it's been fun, Horizon. Oh, shit. All right, I can't return to some of these places. Were you here before? Let's have a look.
No, okay, you're sealed. There's nothing in here, is there? No. My memory's terrible. Nubian Expanse. Pretty sure we've done you, but we'll have a look. <coughs> I found something. All right, we're not done here. Research data from Pragia. Right, that's fuel, so we're going to leave you there. Marine recon unit. Excellent. More war assets, the better. No. A lot of fuel. Bye, boys. Reapers eluded. You Trafalgar All war assets, even better. And then we'll grab you. Only fifty units? Uh it'll do. Fuck you. Alright. Horse head nebula. Hourglass. Were you there before? I don't remember. Let's have a look. No, you weren't. Okay, good. Bennett, so I'll take it. All right, fuel there. We'll leave that. In there. I found something. Shit. What have you got for me? Terminus freighters. Oh, hundred percent. Evasion successful. Perfect. Let's go. This one, since you're the furthest away. Signal confirmed. Hopefully, you've got some fuel in you.
Okay, what do you have? Shadow Broker support team. Eliara, I found, uh, found one of your teams. Shit. No. Reapers eluded. Faster than light jump successful. There it is. Bloody hell. Nope. Reapers eluded. Okay, let's pop over here. I found something. Starship tech for the Shadow Broker. Nice. And then we'll grab you. Extra fuel. Perfect. You're now 100% out. You're 50. And we've still got fuel here. Okay, and I think this is the last system to 100%. Excellent. Okay, so now we can head back to the Citadel. I'm not going to go to the apartment just yet. Talk to some uh, people. To dock Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Uh, embassies. I need to get to the embassies. Yes, Commander. Right. Officer, Officer Delic. Oh, that should be you. Your intel, right? I found these encryption codes on a Cerberus engineer. I thought they might be helpful. Cerberus ciphers? That's exactly what we've been looking for. Thank you, Commander. Yes, Commander Shepard found some encryption algorithms. The team is expecting results soon now. Excellent. Okay, that's you taken care of. Jacob's still there. Okay, that's it. Checking on Bailey. Do you have anything new to say? Or are we basically done? Hey, Shepard. I have to admit, the place feels safer with you here. Everyone's walking around in a daze. Or in my... These are dark days for all of us. You hear anything about your family? Not a peep. I'm here if you need help. No, okay. All right. Let's go to the apartment then. Get the Citadel DLC out the way. Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. <coughs> Excuse me. Turn to the normal because I can't go to the uh, apartment from the cell no, for some reason. Shepard, 
Admiral, how are you holding up? Day by day, Commander. Yeah. Hackett sent me a message about this apartment. I want you to have it. Take it off my hands. Are you serious? You need a place that's yours. Somewhere to recharge. Clear your head. Kaylee wanted us to settle down there. Thing is, the longer I'm on Earth, the less I want to leave. And I want as few loose ends out there as possible. Like I said, you'd be doing me a favor. That's very generous. It's practical. We need you in the best shape possible. Rested. Focused. If you say so. Thank you. And make yourself at home, dammit. It's yours now. I'm sure I can manage. Okay. Good. Been meaning to do that for a while. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Space Dad. Be careful out there, Anderson. You too, Shepard. God. Damn, this is a fine, uh, fine, uh, bachelor pad. We're on run a bachelor. You never asked me about this, but my wife just called. My ex wife. Nobody likes to talk about the toll that long months apart can have on military relationships. She wasn't military. She couldn't have it. But it's not even about military and non military, damn it. It's space flight. Space flight. Finding the mass relays, miracles of engineering. Human imagination rising to meet our desires. We pay a price for that curiosity, that drive. Our relationships suffer. People we love suffer. But that's reality. And it's worth the cost. I must have thought it was. I guess I still do. In the end, you just have to hope you made the right choices. Damn. First time you're standing there, the whole crew looking to you for direction. Unforgettable. I'd led men and women before that. Seen a lot of combat already. Always managed to find my way home in one piece. To do that a few times, you begin to think you know better than the next guy. Maybe you do, I don't know. But if you're lucky, really lucky, you find yourself on a good ship, in front of a good crew. A crew you can trust with your life. Gifted. Disciplined. Brave. All of them. Eager to set sail into the endless black ocean. I still remember my exo asking what my orders were. Shepard, I said. Let's see what we can find. Just gotten promoted to N7. Full of myself. King of the castle. Found myself buying drinks for undesirables in some rundown bar in the wards. They toasted my recent promotion. Hell, they would have toasted Batarian slavers if it had got them more drinks. About the time my money ran out, my new friends turned on me. I was outnumbered. Things didn't look good. My plan to get out of there involved lots of punching. Well, that worked for a while. Then a table hit me. Or I fell down. When I came to, I saw a Salarian putting the rest of the troublemakers down. A Salarian? Moved like a damn cat, I swear. When everybody was out cold. Or running. He walked over and helped me up. N7, he asked. Yes, sir, I replied. He looked over my collection of unconscious friends, nodding. Not bad, human, he said. Then he walked away. I had met my first specter. Learned an important lesson that day. No matter how good you think you are, there's always somebody quicker, faster, and a hell of a lot smarter than you just around the corner. That little lesson's kept me alive more than once since then. True. All right. What's what's the message? <coughs> 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 
Jesus. Hey Shepard, I've got a few things I wanted to go over with you. With the Normandy and Dry Dock, I figured we could meet up at the Ryu Sushi place down in the wards. I hear it's the best. Joker. Alright? Alright, can't do anything with this lot yet. Alright, fair enough. Not gonna listen to all the messages. Ah, uh, there's the Normandy. Have a little tour. This is a swanky pad. <coughs> Hot tub or jacuzzi, whatever. What do you do? Ah, stereo. Alright. Who do we have time? Yeah, let's go meet Joker. See how that's going. Commander Shepard, your table is ready. Very swish. Hey, Joker. Hey, Shepard. Not bad, huh? The sushi place is serious. Like, French guy at the door serious. Only had to save the galaxy twice to get a table here. You see the line outside? Here I am, drink in hand. Best pilot in the universe and a rock star. <laughs> Any news from the Normandy? Ah, uh, you know, maintenance stuff. It's hard knowing a bunch of strangers are poking around in my ship. I, I mean, your ship. The best thing we can do right now is Parker and let the techs do their work. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Maybe an oil change, space tire rotation. Right. Trust me. It'll do her some good. Oh, I trust you. Not sure about those shifty aerospace engineers. Always stealing the silverware. Let someone else do the work for once. Hackett's orders. You're on shore leave. Yeah, whether we like it or not. I'm sure you'll manage. I may need a drink that comes with an umbrella. I'm the first human specter. I'll get you two umbrellas. Awesome use of power, boss. <laughs> so, your email said it was important? My email. I'm here because I got a message from you. The hell? I didn't send anything. Commander! Excuse me. Sorry. Lion's business. Commander, this is urgent! I don't think that's the umbrella lady. Commander Shepard, I'm staff analyst Maya Brooks. Alliance. Excuse me. Alliance Intelligence. There are people trying to kill you. Yeah, I think he's aware of that. No, I don't mean Starburst and the Reapers. 
I mean other people, new people. They're, it's, <sighs> someone is hacking your account. Com channels, personal records. They're targeting you specifically. Targeting me? What do they want? The intel isn't definitive yet. Last time, I guess without definitive intel, we almost landed troops on a gas giant, which is bad. Hang on, Brooks. Take a breath. <sighs> From the top, what do you know? Excuse me, you don't have a reservation. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's performance is brought to you by Random Acts of Violence. All right, Joker, but not that Joker, the DC Joker. Spread out, boys. Find me Shepard. Stay there. I'm coming. Joker. Ow, my pancreas. Hey. Damn it. Got one, sir. Find the crew. I'm going after her. Find the crew. Got it. Oh shit. Commander. Hold on, Brooks. I'm kind of being shot at. Commander. There we go. That's yeah. Shit. Well, that's one way to leave a restaurant, I suppose. Area is under repair. Please move to a safe location. 
I'm on it, don't you worry. Guys, I don't care if the current temperature units still work. Put the new ones in all, all along this section. The customer has permits and wants to wants work to start immediately. Even paid up front with a crazy bonus. Get it done, Citadel Air. Brooks, I see some sky cars across the gap. Maybe a landing pad. I'm checking the area. Transportation, no food, no laundry. Ah, oh, it's a sky car lot. Cision Motors. Get a shuttle over there. I'll find a way across. Okay, right. So, um, it turns out CSEC has the whole area locked down. It's gonna be a tiny bit tricky to get you a shuttle. Keep at it, Brooks. Oh, also, stay off your calm. Well, except for me. It's hacked. That's probably how they found you. Who are these guys? I don't know. But they really don't seem to like you. Yeah, I'm sensing that. Hey, you're on a smoke break. Ooh, fish. Hopefully, some other fish uh, sushi restaurant can use this fish. Last the one I was just at is kind of uh, broken. Go. Shepard, do you read me? Are you alright? I'm fine. Might need a little backup. Good. Joker explained what happened. I'm on foot, but I should be there soon. Excuse me, who is this? You're on an unsecured channel and you're putting Commander Shepard in danger. What? Who is this? Hang on. Joker mentioned staff analyst Brooks, yes? That's her. Everybody play nice. Easy meat. We do not uh, make anything that tastes like Krogan and certainly not barbecue asari. This is not the sort of business we do. Please restrict your orders to what, what's in the official catalogue. <laughs> Alright then. Sons of bitches. Good to hear. Things are a little dicey. Wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> Take 
take that. They'll just steal some random credits too. Uh, I know you're licking the fruit when I'm not around. Stop that, seriously. <laughs> yeah, stop licking fruit, you weirdo. Brooks, found a way across. It's locked down. Right, because of the uh, lockdown. Uh, can you get through? I'll try to override. It's all under control. Is that some kind of alarm? What's going on? Thought I'd make things more interesting. Of course you did. Shepard, Brooks sent me to Navarin for the sky turn up. I'll be there soon. Good. What can you tell us about the clerks? They have guns and don't like me. They called me. Bitch. Uh, look, there's look, here's the deal. You just can't take stuff. Say stuff like that to Jalia, she will freak out. I swear to to you, her blue head will pop right off. I doubt her dad was Vorcha. Sort of doubt it. <laughs> All right then. Racism in the twenty second century still a thing. All stuff. I'm aware some of you are considering leaving my employ and working for those hussies over at Mika. They don't care about you like I care. I super care about you and the good king of caring. Not the creepy kind. Yeah. I don't believe you somehow. I think I tore my ACL doing something extreme. Starting to black out from the pain. Yeah. Yes. Okay, guys. Really, I'm blacking. All right. I like this gun. Brooksy little weirdo. Uh, Tally, where was your gun? Shepard, are you all right? Yeah. Tally, your gun. Good. The landing pad's right over there, but it's behind a locked gate. Let's look for a control panel. By the way, nice outfit. Control panel. <laughs> oh, there's your gun. Really fall through a fish tank? We'll talk about it later. Do you remember back when you used to rescue me in the war? We'll talk about it later. All right. Uh, here's the gate controls.
stand back. Wait. Could you please open the gate? Thank you. Please leave. <laughs> All right, let's go. Love this DLC. Rex, what are you doing here? Ah, just butting heads with the council over Krogan expansion. Nice. Shepard, we got a way out of here. Rex, I'm a professional. That's not a yes. It's not a no. Commander. Joker, we lost our ride. Where are you? On my way. Picked up Brooks. Figured you'd have a few questions. Good call. Hey! Commander, did CSEC find you? Are you okay? Yes and no. Merck's in a CSEC shuttle. What? A little busy right now. Right, sorry. We'll be there soon. Almost there, Commander. Hang on. Great place to fight it. Lots to destroy. Rex, get out of the way! Anyone else here? Get to the shuttle. Where's the shuttle? I think these guys went to the Stormtrooper uh, Storm School of Shooting. Well, that was exciting. Someone want to tell me what's going on here? Who were those mercenaries? They were heavily armed and had access to C-Sex shuttles. I don't know. I've never seen them before. I can't believe you survived all that. They had guns, and grenades, and those drone things. It's all right. I'm calling Commander Bailey, see what's going on with CSEC. Okay, that sounds... Wait! Wouldn't that just make whoever you contact a target too? She's right, Shepard. Until we know more, it would be a big risk. Okay. For now, we run this ourselves. Right. Ourselves. On our own. Outside the law. Okay. Yeah. Brooks, it's okay. I know this is a lot to deal with. I got shot. I got medigel, but still, I took a desk job explicitly to not get shot. And you killed a hundred guys with a pistol! Well, yes, that did happen. <laughs> I mean, who does that? 
Well, you, I guess. But besides you, they said the Medigel might make me jumpy. Do I seem jumpy? How did you get mixed up in this? I monitored data for Alliance Intel to prevent fraud and hacking of officer IDs. Like, uh, someone using an Admiral's pass to get into a nightclub on the Citadel when that Admiral is fighting on Tichanka. I wrote a tracking program. It's really neat. I named it Mr. Biscuits, after my cat. Brooks. Right, sorry. Anyway, Mr. Bis- uh, My program detected a breach in your classified files. Soon, everything we had on you was compromised. Personnel files, mission reports, everything. Since when does hacking personnel records involve heavy weapon fire? Think of what criminals could do if they had Shepard's military access codes. Or Spectre codes, even. Explains why they need you dead, Shepard. Nothing to stop them till the damage is done. Okay. Let's figure out who they are and shut them down. Ideas? Hmm. What about the pistol you picked up? For such a tiny thing, it packs a punch. Never seen anything like it before. Let me see it. I might be able to help. Glyph. I'll begin collating relevant intel for review, Dr. Tassoni. Liara? Shepard, I'm relieved to see you're in one piece. A shame about the sushi place, though. It was a favorite. I hear that. <coughs> All right, Liara's on point. What about the rest of the crew? Yeah, what about those slackers? Joker, you've been busy. I found some folks who actually like being shot at. Come aboard, Shepard. Hell yeah! Gang's all here. Pizza squad mates. Will do, but that will have to wait for the next episode. Thanks for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This will be Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.